hey, check out this beautiful worksheet that I just made to torture my little math students with. And I was actually able to make this really easily in about 10 or 15 minutes using this new program called GMath made by some dude named John McGowan. He's like a programming wizard teacher. And so in this video, I want to show you how to use this add-on in Google Apps. So the first thing that you want to do is open up a new document, of course, and then go to add-ons, get add-ons. This is the new Google feature that's really cool. Go over to the search and type in math or GMath or something like that. And then this thing will pop up. So we want to install the GMath, let it load up, accept all of the permissions. And then now you have it installed in your worksheet or your document. So go over to GMath and go to Create Math Expressions here. Let me put my cursor in the right spot. So I created all these expressions before using GMath and I will fill in this missing one right here. So GMath, Create Math Expressions, boom, this uh, sidebar is gonna pop up over here. Now check this out. You don't, you can learn LaTeX, which is like a mathematical programming language, but uh, John, what he did was he put a bunch of pre-built functions right into the program. So just click on, let's say, a linear function. Here, here's a quadratic function if you need that also. So let's look up here at my linear function. Just replace the coefficients and constants with the number that you want. So say I did 3x plus 6, okay? Then click Insert. Now look back over here as the equation is created for us and pasted into the document. Awesome. Now let's look down here. We have a graph and I want to put another graph right next to it. So go back to your add-ons, GMath, create a graph. And you can create uh, just one equation or you could create a system of equations by putting in two different equations and graphing those. So let me just put, let's say two times X minus two or minus three. Insert that into our document. Bam, it's in here. Now let me show you little uh, tips and tricks here that I figured out. See how the numbers went to the bottom of the graph? Well, if you click on wrap text, then they will pop back up to the top of the graph. And you can rescale or resize these graphs as much as you want and then make them look pretty. Okay, so down here, we can also create equations inside in line with the text. So again, just go back to the add-ons, GMath, create math expressions, look at the sidebar on the side, pick the expression you want here. I'll do a quadratic one. Insert that into our document, bam. So now you have professional looking expressions and equations and graphs in your documents in a really quick time. So just let me know if you have any questions and I'll help you out.